Hey there, so let's roll another video related to bands uh, in painting with Automatic 11.11. So if you landed here and you haven't followed the previous video, I highly advise you to follow the previous video now, as we are not going to address some concepts. If you watch the other video, this will this will be uh, much, much easier. So we're talking, we're going to take a few images already. We have the images and we're going to use the concepts to do some in painting more advanced. So let's use the first image, which is this one. And uh, this is a classic image, which is a half look for in painting models, but pretty much they are all around. Uh, with today, you know, generative AI is difficult to say if this image is real or it was uh, generated using any stable diffusion. But for me, this looks like something that it was generated, but in any case, it looks very real. But let's use this image and just to point out that when you download, for instance, you're looking for uh, in painting models, this is the image that you use to test it. And basically what we're going to do is to remove the dog there or this tough animal. I don't know if it is a tough animal or... Okay, so let me go and... The first thing, so you may remember the image to image in paint, and we, we are going to use the three approaches. Okay, so we're going to do it a little bit fast here. And the first thing is just to remove the duct. So remember that you can, you need to select the region. So I will do it and I will select precisely the region. So I remember the previous video that we talked about that this is not ideal if you want to remove because you want some context. Now you want to, take some information for, from whatever is background, so you can use it to interpolate and remove the dog. So here we can see better. Okay, so I will do it like this precisely, and then we're going to use the other methods, but just to show you. And uh, now they make it bigger, select the whole dog here, put it there. So I'm not going to remove the bottom part of the tail. Okay, they, later we do that. So the idea is to remove this. So we have the stable diffusion method in pain, now that comes with the uh, automatic 11.11 uh, user interface. So if you go and you don't put anything, so this is the tricky part now, because usually if you don't put anything that when you are doing this, uh, basically sometimes it might work, it might not work, but it's more likely that it's not going to work. So usually you need to guide the prone to say what is happening here. So sometimes you can have some images and if you don't know what is happening, I recommend you that to use here, look at that, you have this clip here, this button here. So you have interrogate clip. So it's going to interrogate the image and this is quite cool, quite nice, and it's going to give you a brief description, and from that description, you can guide your prompt, but you know what is happening here. So basically, we can use a prompt and say an, an empty bench. Okay, I don't want the dog there, so I will say empty bench, and then let's try to guide knows if that will, be, will work fine. So let's see what is going to give you this, this application here. So sometimes it can take some time, sometimes it's fast, depending on the complexity of the image. Okay, so here we have the output. Also to point out that probably since here and it happened a little bit slower because I am recording the recording applications using the GPU. I guess I can disable the GPU for the recording, but in any case. So see that the output that what is studying is quite accurate, you not know, a dog sitting on a bench and so on. So if you don't have an idea what is happening there, you can interrogate it, but okay. Let's go and I don't want this. And a dog sitting on a bench, okay. And let's say uh, an empty bench. Okay, so this is what I want to put there. And now that I selected, remember that you have different models. So we're using the painted models. You can use with no problem also uh, the normal models, but likely they're not going to work. So it depends in the region what you are doing, but it's better to use uh, in painting model. So let me use the in painting mobile here. This uh, default options are okay. Original is always recommend. Original, if you are removing, probably you want to add something, maybe latent noise might be better. Uh, here, use the same dim dimension of the image. You can set up, set up there, there, and that's all, okay? And when it comes to also to sampling the steps, uh, usually I do 15, but there is not much difference between 15 and 20, so with 10, there, you're going to speed up since, so it's up to you. So I will leave it in 20K, 
Okay, and then you can play also with sampling method, but this is pretty much is in a standard. And then we go here and you know, you see, I like to put here something in between 0 09, 0 09, 5. So let me use 0 09. And now let's click generate and this should remove you know, the, the dog or the stuffed animal from the bench. Uh, remember that uh, here, always check here because sometimes it's going to download some additional uh, library. So this is what we have. So actually it was quite fast and see that it managed to remove here and actually quite well, but here it didn't remove, okay, this part. So basically see that it, it, is, it remains the texture, okay, of the dot there. So, and the, and the problem here is that it doesn't have any context. It doesn't know what to put there. So that's why it is always recommended to make it when you are removing objects to make it a little bigger. So you can go like this, let me put it like this, then like this, and this should do the trick. And let's remove also the tail here. Go there and let's generate again. And off it goes and fantastic black magic. You have it there. Okay. You see some differences there, but you can do different iterations. You can do upscaling and it can get way much, much better. Okay. So let me click again because I think I have the random number there. Okay. So different generations also likely will give you different effects. Sometimes it will be better. And uh, you can all enable uh, <clears throat> refiner and so on to get it much better. So here you see that it's quite easy to do this stuff. So we remove it there, but this is not the best way. This, when you do it manually using you know, the, the user interface and automatic LOL level can be tricky. Also comfy, uh, comfy UI and focus, something like that. So it's better to use, uh, in paint anything. Also, we have the option to do the same stuff with control net. So here we need to guide the remote, uh, the removal of the object with the, with the prompt. When we use control net and to revisit that, you need to install. And in control net, you have in paint model, you have a few models. Remember that in this case, I have the control net for stable diffusion 1.5. So. Be careful with the libraries. You need, everything needs to be not to, to, it needs to it needs to be coincident. Or you need to use the same models. And here you have in paint only, which is equivalent to what we just did. This is an improvement just to in, to get the whole composition or probably complicated com compositions. Usually this is mainly for faces and stuff like that. And to remove object, we have plus llama llama it is a model that can use works very well to object removal. Okay, if you want to know what is happening there, look for the acronym in the internet and not go into detail. And this is it. We enabled it. Okay, be careful to enable here. Pixel perfect. And that's all. So let's see that this one does not require prompt. However, it may happen from time to time that it doesn't work. So you need to push it a little bit with a prompt. And the prompt in this case is like empty bench. Usually remember that word will be always empty, empty bench, empty space, empty wall, empty ground, or sometimes you can use highly detailed also can, can help a little bit. And this is what we have. Okay. So it's not perfect, but remember that you keep iterating until you get your right image, but maybe, yeah, this is what you're going to get. So let's see what we get this. So a little bit some artifacts, but you look at for, for from far looks nice when you take a look closer. Yeah, you have some artifacts. So these are the two standard methods. Okay, the best method. Then uh, before moving to the other method, remember that you can play with all these options. So be careful with the model, as I mentioned. I recommend you to use in painting models. You can use the standard models, but it can give you a problem. We just sell that later. We're going to work in other cases. And if you are using a, a mobile, you no, know, a standard model, remember that also you need to set the dimensions just for that model. So the best option here is to use in paint auction. No, for me, I love this one. It's fantastic. And let me put it here. Now it's based in segmentation using this method that is, it makes this like magic. I use it a lot for something else. Okay. I do something else and I use it a lot and I always work. So the idea here, you have the image, you click here. So be careful that depending on your image dimensions. Okay. Quality resolution and so on. This can be a time consuming step. And let's wait a little bit while we get that segmentation.
Okay, so we have an image there, as I mentioned. Okay, depending on the complexity, can can take some time. Remember that first time that you use that, check the prompt because it might tell it might take longer because it's downloading models and so on. So basically, the idea of segmentation is just identifying groups here, clusters, and then you can select the cluster. So kind of similar to the clip that we did there, you know, extracting the information, but now we do it visually. Oh. Let's see, I need to redo this because I changed, changed the tab. I forgot that. So be careful about that. Remember that, that if you change tab, likely you will need to redo the, the segmentation. So let's wait for the new segmentation. Okay, we have our segmentation. It's only about a minute. So to use this one we saw in the previous video, so basically you just need to click whatever you want. You have different colors, so click here, here. And basically you are selecting everything, select there. You create mask, and there you go. Almost a perfect mask. So here I can see that I can zoom in my image. I can see that this region probably also can select it. I can improve it. So let me go back here that I actually have a different color. So remember that you might not be able to do this soon because you need to install another extension. So it's Canvas soon, go to extension, you can put it there. So I'll click there, we have the new mask and a perfect mask. Okay, so this is perfect because it's precisely, okay, you're getting the whole shape of this of the object but if you want to do object removal we have seen that this is not okay you need to get a little bit more a larger region you need kind of a padding you need to add to get some contact of the image if you want for instance change the color of that object probably this will be the best way to do it i cannot say that it will work so remember this doesn't do miracles or you need to iterate a lot but in this case we want to remove this object. So I know that this is not going to, to work well, but in any case, just to demonstrate you, let me go to cleaner. Let's use our different models. I recommend you to use the Llama, the LDN. I want to give you a bad warning that this can be very time consuming. It works really well, but it can be very time consuming. So I use the Llama. Okay, I get a good compromise, no results and computing time. So let's wait to get the clean image. And this is what we have. Okay, so it is okay. It removes something, but it left behind kind of a noise you now the texture of the object but pretty much everything is due you know, to the fact that we didn't get we didn't increase you now the the masking region so to increase the, that you can go here expand and you can expand it manually like this a little bit or you can increase the number of iterations and let me increase a little bit more and there you go so we can use this and now if i go here run cleaner this one should run, should perfectly clean. And there you go. So this is your image and pretty cool looking. This is incredible. Here, for instance, here in the button, it was fantastic. No, it managed to reconstruct everything. Here you have some artifacts and here all here is perfect. So but it is fantastic. Okay, and it doesn't matter if the image is a real one or something generated using a stable diffusion, make journey, whatever, it will work. So this is using the cleaner auction. This is the one I recommend to remove objects. And then you have in painting that you can do the same. Okay, you can drive. Now you can remove here like anti bench and would we'll remove it. But instead of removing, just to show you that like you can add object as well. So let me add something. Okay, so if I add something, it will try to remove this. Okay, so let's say that let's go back to our Pikachu. No, use it a lot. So let me, let's see what happens if I add Pikachu there. So I'm using a state a in painting from uh in paint anything and this one you have the model so remember i can choose different models so i'm happy with dream shaper okay it's very good as a model so but then you have so no many of them so let me go run in painting and let's see what happens here with our super powerful pikachu and there you go it's very cool actually and also probably Here's some artifacts here, but that can be improved with more iterations and so on. But a fantastic result, okay, with not much effort. As I say, I like to do this tutorials. I don't want to go to perfection, just to show you, you know, how things work. By the way, here you have also advanced options. So likely you increase you know, the number of steps you're going to get a 
better output the guidance and so on and you can fix your your guidance so this is using now the the auctions with the painting that comes with uh in paint anything or you can use the in painting that comes with automatic 1111 so basically it's the previous one as the the first tutorials the same auctions and here you have your in painting models that you need to select exactly the same i'm not going to show you and we have this case working here. So I hopefully you're getting an idea that this is a fantastic tool, as you can see, you can use it to many things. Uh, then you can get more power when you use it with control net. Okay, so you can combine it with control net. I don't use it very often, but yeah, you can get more, more power with control net, but just by itself, cleaner and in pain, it, it works really, really, really well. So this is it for this case and well let me show you something as well so let's do a cleaner okay let's do the last iteration let me clean this bench okay clean bench let me save this image here okay let me open here and let's do another impending let me go back to image to image and let me go here it is this image and let's do let's say let me select something here so let me select a region here something big Okay, so now we clean the image. So usually, previously I say, okay, add a Pikachu there, but usually I prefer to work in this way. I remove the object, get the image, and then paint again, okay? And then when you paint again, uh, you add the object. You can save that mask by the way. So when you do this operation, you can save the mask. Now, as you recall here in Paint Anything, there is another, an option that saves the mask and you can use the same mask if you want. So here I'm painting this region and let's say that I want to add one mecha. Okay, so let me add one mecha there. So you have in painting models and let's work here with actual models. So let me use the XL base. So you say when you add objects, Okay, they will work better, these models. When you remove, they're going to give you problems. Adding objects, they have the tendency to work be better, but it's always best to use you now the in-painting model. So in this region, add that object. Okay, you can put, so these options, use the original composition, probably here as I'm adding a completely new object. It's better to use latent noise, the whole picture, Okay, padding, and let me go here. And this model works with a thousand twenty-four better. It works better with that, and that's all. Okay, let me nothing. Okay, let me disable the control neck that it was enabled from the previous. And now my fan is going crazy, so there is a process running. I don't know why, but let me launch this one. Hopefully, it's not going to crash the computer. And let's see what happens. Okay, we're back. So for some reason that was extremely con time consuming, likely you not know, the recording utility, but this is what we have. Okay, quite cool. So it was trying to, yeah, there are some errors, but let's say that it was going in the right direction to get something very realistic. Okay, so we were adding an object. So at this point, it's up to you to use different models. So for instance, let's do something else. Uh, let me change the model. Probably was that one. Let me use playground that in my experience tends to be much faster. And instead of choosing using the whole image, let's use only this area okay so to show you the big difference and what will happen in this case so i would just only mask region so what is happening here that whole picture it will take the whole composition okay this mask region the whole composition and it will put that new object there now if you choose only this when it doesn't have idea of the whole composition so it's going to add something here but that something that is going to add maybe is not going to be similar to the image. So probably will add the, the maca and then it will put there a branch tree or a tree somewhere. So that is the issue. So if for you that is not important, you can do it. Okay, so let's see what happened in this case. Okay, so having worked in this, so we have only mask, everything okay. So when you have only mask, also you can increase the padding. No, the idea of increasing the padding is to get more context so it doesn't add any strange objects. But let me leave it like that. Here also, let me reduce this one to length. 
to it. Now let me put 800. So it should work. So, and now let me click generate. So hopefully this was, this would be faster than the previous one. So now it's going to focus only in the context that you have here and it's going to add the object. So now I see here that it's going in the right direction and also it's a way much faster than, than previously. And I can see here the Maca looks realistic. Okay. But kind of is adding a branch. What I thought, what I mentioned that it maybe will add some trees, some pals, or whatever. So kind of I see that maybe there is a branch there. So let's see what we have. Okay, so we have our composition. Um, let's click there and see that it's very cool the macaque, but then see that you have the branch and here probably a tree. So it's, as you can see, it didn't it didn't take the context. So it was re it is a really nice image, but it's not respecting the, your composition. So clearly you can see now the with this example the difference between only mass and whole picture. Then also we talk about these options also. So I like to take it here between something between four to 16. If you go too high, it's dependent on the details. No, it can give you problems. So as you put too high, usually you, you are going to get on a lot of noise in the mask region and so on. So you can play with all these options. So in this case, I guess we can move to another case. We cover the, all the concepts and I hope you are getting a better idea and i have to stress be careful now with the models the checkpoints and so on so the tendency that i have to say you are removing objects probably in painting these models work better if you are adding yes these are going to work better but it might happen that this one also is going to give you good results okay so you will get absolutely no doubt much better results using these models not to add this this macaque so let me move to the next case Okay, we have this one. And in the next case, let's start again here. Let me reload to. So our next image, it is an actual photo. So we have it here. So basically this is super easy. We want to remove, we have the photo. This is an actual photo. I want to point out that it's high resolution. And let me say something. What, what, but what we want to do is to just to remove the raccoon, that's all. And be very careful, okay, so check the resolution of this photo because in this case here details this is a, a large resolution so if you put this and in the segmentation uh, extension this is going to take a really really long time also when you are doing image to image and you use the same dimensions at least for with a eight gigs of video RAM, it will be super super slow will take a long time so when you have large images what you can do is do is reduce the dimension so here i have the same one but medium dimensions and in this case basically now i have this one and things are going to work faster so you will do some details when you are changing the the resolution but remember that we have ox scaling and later i'm going to talk about a little bit about ox scaling and we can recover some details so as you can see here by re reducing you know, the, the, the resolution and losing some details. Okay, so let's get our hands dirty. So what we want to do, remove that object. So we can use in paint anything and just let me show you. So first things, just to mention, you have the high resolution. You put it here and you click segment anything and you don't have a lot of memory. This will take a really, really long time. So I'm not going to use that. I'm going to go here and put the low resolution. Okay, so this is the image that I'm going to use, the one or medium resolution to do things faster. But to mention something that you don't need to segment the image to mask. Okay, so you can skip the segmentation and go right ahead and mask. So in this case, we want to mask everything and I want to remove the raccoon. So I just go like this, really brutal. So like here, here, a little bit. Here, okay, let me go like this. There is no problem. We're removing, we have a lot of gray. So we have a lot of context here. So we select there and now you go into cleaner, use this model and remove. So again, the warning is you're using a large resolution image and let's say it's keeping this step masking here. When you go here, this cleaner routine is going to try to work in this same resolution. Okay, so it's going to be slow. Same with the segmentation. So be careful about that. So in this case, it will be 
a little bit fast, but as you use your original image that I will share those images in the video description you have, you will see that it will be time consuming. So this is what we have. Okay. It didn't work because I forgot to, uh, here I just sketch, but I forgot to add mask. Okay. So remember now I have the mask there and let me click again and it's going to remove using this model. And there you go. So basically this is very nice. Okay. No objection. So now let's do segmentation. Okay. Segmentation might take some time, but it will be way much faster than using the high resolution image. So let's wait a little bit. And there you go. We have the segmentation and I want to stress this again. If you use the high resolution, a high resolution, you must use all the digital cameras and everything. They're going to give you things like this are way much higher than this. So you need to reduce if you want to, to use, uh, stable diff diffusion and any of these tools, you need to reduce the reduction, the resolution in order to, to work. That is, is you don't have enough memories. You have 16 or one of those super mega GPUs. Go ahead. There is no problem. So in this case, we have the segmentation in theory. We don't need it, but now I show you just sketch there, a sketch there. Oops. That was probably with that one. Now it's not going to take this straight here. And now if create mask and there you go, a perfect mask. We have seen that this is not ideal if we want to remove. Okay. So let's go and increase this mask there. A little bit more, uh, probably a little bit more. So now I can go and run, cl run cleaner and that's all. So it should have a perfect object removal. And actually this is much better than the previous one. And if you want to add an object, you go here to the standard in painting or to remove here, you can say, oh, let's do it empty. Anti row, you have the models here, so it's up to you to pick up one. So let me use this one. Run generation it's still to stress this when I using the low resolution or the smaller resolution. Otherwise, this this step can can be very time consuming. Okay, so see that it's already telling you that it's working. So as you can see here, you have nowhere you can choose the res this resolution. So it's using the the default resolution. Even if you go here, advanced settings, it doesn't let you select the resolution. Even here, advanced settings, you have no way to select the resolution. By default, it's taking the resolution of the image. Instead, if you go here, remember that you can set your resolution here. So that is things that you have to be very careful. Okay. I make that mistake many times that I put a high resolution and it was taken for forever, but you can stop the process. And yeah. We, we run here. Now you can do your, your in painting and so on. So I said it here, bam, 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 bam. Let's go in painting. And there you go. This is a perfect one. And this will be using the same method as in, uh, automatic 11.11 user interface. So just empty road, you can put your auctions there and then you can select your mobile running painting. And this will be pretty much equivalent to work here. Okay. So I'm not going to repeat that one. The only difference that in the other, no, when you go into this tab, you can select the resolution. So in theory, you can check, choose, uh, use the large image to do that. So see that here you have this one. It's not perfect, but just do another iteration. And just to show you here, let me go and let me put, this is the high resolution image. And if I go here, you see that you have the dimensions, but let me put here 512, 512. I'm going to use this in painting model. So I know that this in painting model has been trained with this dimension. So you put it there, but usually when you mask the whole image, it is recommended to put the same dimension as the image, but you have this issue of, of hardware. So let me increase the fantasy here and I have nothing else to do. So look at it here. It's going to work. It's going to be relatively fast, but because we, we, we were able, so but ba bam, 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 what happened here? Okay. So basically I need to say anti row. So I need to guide the composition there. And 
Okay, I have an empty road, it's perfect, but I forgot that I had to work here and then paint that. So I make mistakes, so this is not, as you see, I didn't work in this previously, so let me select everything. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, you have it there. I think that should be enough. Okay, so we're using this dimension, as you see, perfect here. Instead, if you go here, click there, it will use the whole dimension and that will be very time consuming. So if you, if you don't have more than eight gigs that this, for this resolution, it will take a while. Okay, so probably 10 minutes or more than 10 minutes. So this is it. This is the other approach using actual photos. And I want, what I wanted to stress here is that be careful with that digital photo, whatever photos can photo know that if the resolution is large, this, this have an external dependence in your hardware and might be very time consuming. So this is it for this case. And now let's move to another, another tutorial. Okay, so our next case is the cat wizard. We did it previously in Confi UI. So basically we have this image here, different compositions. I want to show you something else. And what I want to do is like change the color of the, of the code here and also probably erase this element here. And I will show you something also about uh, scaling, just to mention something about that. So I will move to impaint anything. I guess at this point you get the idea that impaint anything, segment anything is fantastic. So if I put the image here, I know that the resolution is low, 512, because I generated using SDXL Turbo. So be careful about the resolution of your image. If I run segmentation here, okay, so. If I run segmentation, I get this. So pretty much it's very accurate. So I see that you get here, you no, know, your code or, or jacket there. So if you want to change the color, select here, here, here. Probably if you want to change the eyes and whatever. So you can select and do that. But what I wanted to show you here that sometimes it might happen. So look at that, I have different compositions. Let me use another composition. It's very similar, but you see that there are some differences. And let me run segment anything to see what happens, to see if there are different. So this one, the previous one, it was very accurate. Now it managed to, 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 to capture the code. But see here that now we have a single one. So it didn't manage to capture everything. So that depends now in the resolution detail. So you might escape, probably if you, if, uh, I haven't tested, but if you upscale this image, it might be able to capture that. But that doesn't matter. You now, if it doesn't capture, remember that you can you now here do the painting in the image. So it's not a big deal. So something like this, you select, check ma mask, and there you can, for instance, now paint, and you can start to remove what you want in this mask. So you go like this, and then trim mask and you start to untrain that what you want. Okay. So it's not an, an issue, but just wanted to show you that sometimes it might happen that it doesn't capture all the details. So let me go back to this one. And our goal, it is to change the color of the, of the coat of the jacket. So let's wait for the segmentation. Okay. So we have our segmentation. So click here, click here, create mask. And there you go. Very, very cool, very accurate. So maybe here also missing this piece here. And if I zoom in, I have some small you know, pixels there. So you can keep painting there or, ah, I don't want that. So please, I put a mask there. So I don't want that. Let me go here. Okay. So you can keep painting or simply this is way just increase, expand the mask and should cover that. So usually, as I mentioned, I like to get a little bit more context, make it a little bit bigger. So now that you have that, you can do whatever you want. So let's say that in this case, I would use in painting from in paint anything. And I want to say red coat. Okay, and you have different models. Let me use that one and let me create two iterations running painting. And at this point, let's wait for, for the output of this case. So now it's doing first iteration, 
by the way, just to stress, so actually you see that it's a very good results. You can change here, you know, sampling steps and so on. So this is a fantastic result actually. Look at that. I want a red jacket and you have it there, you know, a red coat. So fantastic results. Okay, bosses then. And as you can see in this case, this can be kind of a miracle, no, very good, very accurate. So it, this something similar can be with the hair, with the fur of the cat, but there, that will be a little bit more tricky, it requires some skills, more, more iteration. So next video, I'm going to show you how to change hair color with some, that will be a pre-manufactured case, not sure we pick it that I really tested, but it's tricky not to change the color of the hair. So let's say here that look at that we have this. So for instance, let's take a look at the original image. And as you look at the original image, see this piece of segment here that is still is the code, but now in this one, it added kind of detail. I'm happy with that actually, because see that in this case, it was put, put in detail there so the problem here was that when we create increase the mask that mask took some some portion of the of the of the hair of the cat and then it say okay this one seems to be more more hair and then it, it used the same texture okay so if you want you can reduce this mask and it will be part of the of the jacket of the coat or probably it's not a jacket it, it is a coat or it's not a call, it is a jacket. So also depends on the token that you give here now. So if you put a cape, also a cape probably would work. So be careful about that. You have many options, but okay, you can play with that. So what I want to do here is now to remove this, this, this part here. And let's go here and, and this case, let's say, let, let's, let me use this image so you can just Put it here now we have the new image let me segment this image again and we get the new segmentation and voila we have the new segmentation see here that now we don't have the details of the jacket or coat but i want to remove this okay so you have that that seems to be detailed so just to, to to bring back that subject that you need to give context now so if you want to clean that one you go there and use the cleaner that mobile so you run the cleaner so you you have this mask that is perfectly you now to the to this object so see that it's not removing it is putting more of the texture because the only thing that is detecting is that texture so to effectively remove that give a little bit more increase the mask you now that i call it giving a little bit more context so see that now in this case you're taking a little bit of the background a little bit of this pop and then a little bit of the ground so but probably we need a little bit more so i think i'm happy with this one and if i run this one I think I should have a perfect there object removal. So it's taking the ground, he's reconstructing this. Okay, so be very careful about that. And let me redo this to show you also. The same will happen if you go for with the standard in painting, that will be this one. So let's say that you can say always empty. And what is empty? So that is on the ground. So let's say empty ground. Okay, so if you want to have empty ground, you have the models there. Let me put it here and let's see what we have. Okay, so see that we have this. So we put something there, it's not empty. So same idea, increase your mask, give more context, and when you put it there, it should work perfectly. Okay, so it didn't work. So probably the model, so let's change the model. Let me use this model. Or also is the seat number, so remember that also. You can use different iterations, but we should get something much better. And there you go. So say that now if remove. So don't be afraid about that, that when you do a generation, you don't get something, something nice. So remember that you have the seat numbers or so different seat numbers, different values, and also the models will have an influence. So pretty much a perfect case. So for instance, let's go for the eyes. So let's say that now I want check ma mask, that one, we have this. And I say that I want anti ground and probably let's say that it, if it can manage complex no prompts, a blue eyes. Put it there. So it should remove that object there, this stuff there. And 
let's see if it managed to get the the blue eyes and actually blue eyes it managed to do something not very nice here didn't work very well but again let's try another iteration okay so we have something different let's do four of this and to stress when you increase the number of iterations it's like doing the batch okay increasing the batch here now but we're increasing the batch count so they are sequential this batch size is in parallel so be careful about that so if you don't have enough memory that is going to give you problems okay so here we have all okay so it didn't manage to to work with this complex prone so you see that here is better remove the object and then focus on the eyes so yeah this is what i wanted to to show you as you see this in paint anything super powerful and before ending this video i want to talk a little bit of, of scaling that given that i brought that in the discussion so just to show you something very interesting so this is our original image okay uh, probably let me go i have the original image there so ox scaling requires now i think i need to create many videos about that because it, it is fantastic ox scaling but requires resources so you can do the traditional scaling i think we already covered that and you use now those methods and what is called no ai ox scale but then you can go latent space scaling now the high res but that one requires hardware and just to show you here latent ox scaling the same exactly the same uh, sorry geometry right? i was working in cfd doing cat and i have geometry in my mind so look at that you have the same image but now i'm ox scaling and look at that, adding all those details fantastic this looks very very realistic i didn't do this in my computer with ajx i have to move to i did it in amazon so exactly the same installation in Amazon, but you do many passes. I use Confi UI. So Confi UI, I like to use Confi UI to do this when I have more control. I think you can manage to do it with, with automatic 11 level, but Confi UI, you can control better. But basically what you are doing here, this ox scaling is that you go into latent space and then in latent space, you add more details. So you need to increase the resolution of the image, you need to make it way much, much larger to that, all those details. But this is fantastic. Okay, this is incredible. And then just to show you more details. So this is also more details. And there you go. So let me soon, soon. Actually, no, I changed the prompt there. So this is the one that, no, it's not this one, prompt is this one. Okay, so exactly the same, but now I added more details. So this one it took, I was running in, in Amazon, I recall it was one of those super powerful GPUs. It took like 15 minutes to get this. So it's a GPU like with uh, six gigs of memory, something like that, with a lot of memory. So fantastic, a lot of cores. So see that, and this is just latent, uh, uh, like or, 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 or scale and you get your image and then you move and do do many passes and then that concept about the blurring the image and creating tails uh, tiles so here we have tiles and then those tiles do the ox scaling but this is fantastic so see the whiskers the, here they don't look very realistic now that clearly you can see the ox scaling in action there but for from far it's fantastic okay and this one that I want to show you here, I changed the prompt here. So here I use a more complex prompt. So it changed the eyes. So now I want brown eyes. And then also look at the background. Now I say in a forest. So it changed everything here, like kind of in a cave, whatever, or a window here. Now everything here is in a forest. Okay, so this is the power of this uh, generative AI. But require resources. No, I was bringing this up scaling because talking about the resources was this segmentation. Seems something stupid, but it requires resources. Same happened here that is you want to get this. If you don't have the resources, you're not going to be able to do it. But this is, I have to say, this is, this, this is amazing. Okay. Amazing. Okay. So I think this is all for this video. Okay. So in the next, next video, it will be a little bit more of this, uh, in painting, but it, 
focus in changing the hair and so on. So thank you for your attention. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you have questions, just, just feel free to use the, the comment section and see you in the next video. Bye.